Well, since my hummingbirds are coming back, I need to refill my feeders again. I did them a couple of weeks ago, but these are these are kind of old uh, nectars in there from a couple of weeks ago. So I really need to get those refilled. <laughs> I need to wash them out a little bit. Get over here on the grass. <laughs> I don't want to spray it all over the sidewalk. I cleaned these out real good a couple of weeks ago. So basically all I have to do this time is rinse them out and put the new nectar in. Little buddy's right down here watching me. <laughs> See if I can show you. He's right here. See him right there? <laughs> He's always in on everything, even my hummingbirds. That's got that one. And the wind always blows this. Yeah, I don't want them to come around and leave because there's no fresh nectar. So, I need to fill the moats up. And I got another one over here. And I need to clean my bird bath out. <laughs> the birds love it, so they've been coming to see it. The only thing is, they've pooped in it too, so... 
I can't get this out. Well, I may have to just do it like this, run my finger in there and clean it the best I can. which way it's supposed to turn. But it's not turning either way. See if I can put just a little bit of water in these moats up here. Keep the ants out. Because those ants will cover. I don't guess you can see what I'm doing, can you? <laughs> I was putting water in the moats above the the little feeders will keep the uh, ants from getting on the feeders. Had to wash that off a little bit because that sugar water got on the table, then it will definitely attract the ants. Just gonna set this little bit here that's left over in the door. And I guess the birds came out here earlier to eat. Because since I've been up, I've not seen birds around my feeders. But I heard a hummingbird yesterday, but I didn't see him because he flew by my head. And then I heard one the other day, and I saw him fly right to this feeder and start eating. So. Huh. 
Hopefully they will come back. So much I want to do, and I don't even know where to start. But I know what I need to do now. I need to go around on the other side of the house and um, sweep off my sidewalk. Because, you know, we had that uh, storm the other night. And I had just got out, mowed the yard, or mowed the other side of the house, because I don't have the wildflowers growing there. And uh, I took the blower and blew off the sidewalk and that storm come through and guess what I got all this stuff out of the trees right back up on my sidewalk again look at my tomato plants aren't they pretty they're starting to really grow that one that's the hillbilly And these are the ones right here that I just took a slice of tomato and planted it. <laughs> just one little slice of tomato. And I've got three tomato plants coming up there. And I already pulled out two of them and transplanted them. So. And I've given up on my parsnips. I don't think they're coming up. So I went ahead and I planted a couple of tomato plants. I got a sunflower there. Yeah, I've only got one. I guess that's a parsnip. I don't know. But, yeah, I gave up on the parsnips. <laughs> Unless I start them in the greenhouse. And that's perpetual spinach right there. <laughs> But, and I've got a canary yellow melon planted there. I don't know how long the vine gets or anything else. But if it gets very long, I'm just going to let it go right up this trellis. And the hillbilly tomato I planted right there died. It was too little. So I'll have to transplant another one. And see, I got my greenhouse cleaned out. <laughs> and I got my six bags of wood chips in here that the uh, subscriber sent me. But I, I am going to have some uh, sweet Marconi peppers. Look at there. And I've got the Hungarian peppers right there. I mean, all of them didn't come up, but three pots have peppers plants come up. So, if they survive, we'll see what happens. And I was experimenting with this little thing. <laughs> but I don't think it's going to work. I mean, it might. But I put some lettuce seed in there. 
just to see if it would come up, just as an experiment. So we'll see. But my peas are good, doing good, and I need to fix, maybe somehow open up the top of this. I'm not sure. Because I'm not sure how stable it will be if I open it. Seems like it's more sturdy to leave it as a TP type. But I might open it and spread it open and... Uh, Put more of these steaks, tomato steaks, that these peas will climb up, but inside there, it might give them more room to grow. And they've, they've not started going up uh, the trellis yet, so I have time to do that. But what I was going to do now is, <laughs> I want to show you, I just took the blower Blew the sidewalk off. Got all the leaves off of it. Even right here on this walkway was pretty clean. That storm come through. And look at all the leaves and the debris. All over my porch. All over here. I mean, it's terrible. And look at there. <laughs> I'm not sure what I planted there because I didn't mark it. Y'all, I'm the worst about not marking stuff. But look at this. I've got slicing tomatoes coming up. And I got a hillbilly tomato plant in there. There's my slicing tomatoes from the other day when I planted that slice of tomato. Green lettuce coming up in the bottom down here. Green lettuce there. Whew. See, I've got all these pots left here to transplant stuff out of the greenhouse out here when it gets big enough. And this is um, mixed geranium. I was trying to get a geranium started in there. And the seeds have come up. We'll see what happens with it. I've got a yellow squash there, but I'm curious to check on my, uh, yeah, my, all my cucumbers have come up. Look at that. Every one of my pots have a cucumber or several cucumbers in there. And my jolly green uh, tree collard. I've got uh, a purple walking stick collard that I want to put up. I've got the seed for it, so I've got to plant that and see if I can get it started. I've got squash here, or zucchini. See, it's come up. It's a yellow squash, I think. Yeah. And of course, the, the walking onions are walking. Look at this. You know, I told you they'll walk and they'll put out babies at the top. Now see the slice of tomato that I put there? Look at the tomatoes. And I got one poked out right there. And that was just from putting a slice of tomato in there. I got one coming up there. I got it coming up there. My peppers haven't come up yet. Oh, let me shorten this thing. I got a tomato there. I don't know what kind it is. I think it came up voluntarily. But my pepper seed's not coming up because it don't get warm enough out here yet. But it does get warm enough in the greenhouse for them to germinate and come up. So, 
And see, there's some tomatoes. And they come up from that slice of tomato that I put in there. I don't see one coming up here. And of course, my asparagus. Look at there. You know, I cut it all back. And I've got new ones coming up. Hmm. <laughs> asparagus for breakfast. I got eggplant coming up. Eggplant in that little pot. Canary yellow melon. Mm. <laughs> and there's uh, gold metal tomatoes. I need to get a little bit of water to them or compost tea. And there's gold metal tomatoes. See, they're walking. I have uh, more little baby onions to plant pretty soon. And a lot of them. Isn't that funny? I told my son it was like a pregnant um, onion. <laughs> yeah, I've got to get some more water over here. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. i got a compost tea bucket right behind me. It's got some compost tea in it. on my tomato plants over here. Doesn't take too much, but <laughs> I forgot all about that. <laughs> that definitely needed some compost tea. So I might get out here later and go around and Put some compost tea to everything. Because that looks terrible. It's just wilted all down. <laughs> I've been so busy I haven't been out here to check on them. And see, I put... Slices of tomato there, and I got one tomato plant coming up. Check the other ones. The other ones haven't germinated to come up yet. This side they haven't either. But it takes them a little while. Isn't that right, little buddy? Takes them a little while to germinate and come up. <laughs> He's sniffing around for bugs, I guess. little buddy look at that isn't that beautiful and the purple on this side and they'll be all up there because look at there it's completely covering the the arbor 
And they'll have flowers all up on top, too. It's going to be really pretty. Because there's tons of buds up there now. My lettuce is coming up there. I got tomato plants there. Those are the red slicing tomatoes. There's two plants. I don't have anything planted in these yet. Yeah, I got to get over here and see. Boom. And sweep my porch off. Get all this junk off of it. But that's the hazards of having trees. <laughs> I love my trees. <laughs> poison there. I put out an ant poison. I had these great big old ants coming up on the porch, so I don't want to sweep that away. some of the biggest red ants I've ever seen. I think they're living and breeding under my porch. <laughs> under this little concrete porch. Because they were coming up from right there and just coming over the porch. Awful little guys, I tell you. I don't like them little things. They hurt when they bite you. They hurt like something fierce when they bite you. Yeah, I just wasn't in the mood to stir up all that dust today, so I didn't want to get the blower out. And I didn't... I don't have to get every bit of this, just most of it that's on the rocks where I step. <laughs> Because the next time the wind gets up, I'll have leaves and crap right back on the sidewalk. <laughs>
I mean, there's no need to be too particular about it. Because <laughs> like I said, as soon as the wind blows again, it's going to be covered with leaves. Until the leaves quit falling anyway. That's good enough for there. I leave all. Uh, either rocks or a pot I got the corners of the indoor outdoor carpet that's on the porch because if I don't the wind blows it up <laughs> I'm not going to be getting it perfect, but hey, it'll be better than what it is. <laughs> it'll be a lot better than what it is. Cracks and put that cement in there, but 
they need to be washed out with the water, I mean, the water hose. And I'm not supposed to do that, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Concrete will just come right back out of it anyway. Looks like I got blocks coming up. Must have another root growing up under there. Whew, I'm sweating. <laughs> sweating, y'all. Y'all look at me a squirrel. I don't know if I can catch him. See him going up the tree.
Still wagging that tail. <clears throat> Yeah, they like the acorns from these oak trees. Plus my bird feeders back there, they get all the bird seed they want. I don't know what he's trying to do. Acts like you can't decide which way he wants to go. What do you reckon he's doing up there? <laughs> Go fuzzy tail. He's up there investigating, <laughs> looking at the camera. It's like he's coming down. Mm, he's gotten still. I don't know what he's doing. He 
It's like he knows the camera's on him. <laughs> Looking straight at the camera. <laughs> I don't think he knows where he wants to go. I guess he's just getting his exercise this morning. He keeps going back to that one spot. I don't know what's up there that he likes. <clears throat> it's like he's got him a little stool up there. <laughs> a bird watch. <laughs> Pose for the camera.
Well, he's probably gone round the back to the feeders. So I'm going to finish what I started here. Maybe he'll come back. We'll go around to the feeders in a little bit. But I've got to finish this mess. Wash the cushions on my swing over here last week. Trying to get some of the dust and stuff off of them. But I took them in the house and washed them.
Well, I got that much done. <laughs> and look at all my, uh, I think the nasturtium seeds that I planted in here with the hollyhocks because I wasn't sure the hollyhocks were going to come back up. And so far they're not. And I got marigolds too. So I'll have something growing here. It's hard to, to keep things alive in the winter when you got them in pots in the yard. They have a better chance of surviving the winter months if you have them in the ground, if you can put them in the ground where you live. But look at that. Let me see. 
I need to put this down. Turn this around. Whoops. <laughs> Get it back to normal size and see this arbor look at all the clematis going up it it's beautiful and it eventually goes all across the top and see i've got that mandeville on the other side but it's not bloomed yet i'm gonna have to <clears throat> do some research on mandeville and see why it's not bloomed See maybe what I can put to it fertilizer wise or anything else to where it will bloom. It has it has not bloomed once since it's been here. I mean and it's getting pretty big. I just don't know why. It has not bloomed. I keep hoping maybe it'll bloom this, this year. But I don't know. Let's go back around. See, I wash my cushions and I wash the frame and I wash... I brushed off the top. <laughs> I need to take the top off and take it in and wash it too. But you have to take part of the metal brace apart to slide that off. So I didn't mess with it the other day, but I do need to take it off because it's all dusty. See, it's all dusty up there. I do need to take it off and wash it. And I will. I'm just not sure exactly when. I wanted to check on my rose bush because I'm not sure it's still living over here. Well, it's still green, but it's not, and it's barely putting out leaves down here, so I don't know. It might survive or it may not. <laughs> But I got my flower seeds coming up. I wanted to put some zinnias out here. But I haven't done that yet. There's so much to do. <laughs> I went from being bored because I didn't have enough to do. So now my list is so long, I don't know what to do next. And I heard the mailman come, so let me run out here and check my mailbox. Oh, I got something in my shoe. Let's see what's on my. Well, I got a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I need to clean out these bird baths and put water in them. I don't know if my peppers or my eggplants ever come up. <laughs> Probably not. But I got my cucumber vine still living over there. I'm hoping it's going to go up that tree. My other seeds haven't come up yet. I think I planted one behind each tree on this side too right there. But they haven't come up. I 
look at that one. <laughs> it likes it in that pot. And I got all these marigolds coming up. I'm going to have to transplant marigold plants. And I do need to clean that out. Oops. <laughs> I may go ahead and do that. I gotta get some paper towel though. It is kind of cruddy. <laughs> Let me turn this camera around because I can't tell what I'm showing you. <laughs> Let 
Yeah, I'm just trying to clean this bird bath out. that thing sitting solid. You don't want it to fall over and break. Hear a hummingbird behind me. Here a hummingbird. I'm just over here. Winding my little bit of hose up on my wheel. I looked everywhere for something to put the hose on so it wouldn't be just laying on the ground and all tangled up. And this is about the only thing I could find that I could afford at the time.
It makes it easier. Only it drips a little bit. So I guess it's the spigot there, it's wearing out. And it drips a tiny bit, even though you got it off as tight as you can put it. So, and there's little buddy. <laughs> he's coming to see what's going on. Yeah, he's coming to see what's going on. kitty he's a sweet kitty yes him is what have you been into you got something sticky all over your head you just got that on there this morning and I can't pull it off because it's, it's like glue where have you been in glue huh where have you been in glue where have you been in glue huh got glue on your head or something tree sap shedding like crazy yeah you got tree sap or something on your head it looks like glue it looks like glue little buddy come here come here where have you been to get that on your head huh where have you been to get that on your head? Oh, this shirt sticks to me. <laughs> it's a clinging shirt. Yes, it is. We gotta find more stuff to do. There's so many things on my list to do. Did somebody throw something at you? <laughs> that they got that on your head? So you need to stay close to the home. I can't get that off. I'd have to cut your hair off to get that off. That's like a wad of glue up there. Yes, it is. It's like a wad of glue. Silly cat. I thought I heard a hummingbird. But they should be coming around. Especially since I put more uh, nectar out. Yeah, I put them some fresh dinner out there. Put them some fresh food out there. I don't know about you, you were absolutely clean when you were here just a few minutes ago. You left for like five minutes and come back and you got glue or something all over you. And that's not gonna come off. It'll have to wear off or you'll have to scratch it off. I can't get it off. You'll have a fit if I try to pull that off. I'll pull, you, I'll pull your hair out. Yeah, I'll pull your hair out and you got black stuff over here. Somebody threw shit at you, didn't they? Somebody throw stuff at you. You need to stay home. I'm just trying to get the hair off of you. You got fuzz just flying. Yeah, you got fuzz just flying. Whew. I have not seen birds to the bird feeder. I don't know. I checked the bird food yesterday. It's not wet, so I guess maybe they got plenty yesterday evening. Yeah, I guess they got plenty yesterday evening, didn't they? Huh? You reckon they got plenty yesterday evening? Hmm? What do you think, little buddy? Somebody's burning something. I don't know where close by because I smell it. But it's not me. I'm not making, 
I'm not burning anything today. It's not like it's coming from down that way. We've got to get our birdhouses back up or get the one back up there. Huh, I need to get the ladder out and see if I can get that put up there. Well, I think for me and little buddy, we're going to call this a video. <laughs> Ain't that right, little buddy? Yeah, I think we're going to call this a video. I'm going to take a break, get in there and get me a bite of lunch, and then I might get out after after lunch. So me and little buddy will see you on the next one. Bye now.